come to the uh, e content uh, uh, section. Um, Dr. B. N. Pratibha, I am working with the Department of uh, Information Technology as Assistant Professor. Uh, today we are going to discuss about the number system. So number system, why we need to study the number system? Because uh, everyone may think it's a uh, number system so we already studied in our uh, primary school or secondary school. But why we need to once again to study the number system? Because almost all the competitive exams, it's asked uh, based on the number systems only. Uh, regarding like uh, convert the particular number in the binary format to decimal or octal format to hexadecimal or maybe hexadecimal to decimal. In such conversion problems, we can be sure of getting the marks by knowing the number systems more clearly. So and we, are, we should be able to solve such problems in a fraction of seconds. Then only we can save the time as well as we can get the more marks. These number systems are asked in most of the competitive examinations like uh, national eligibility test as well as the state level eligibility test for the assistant professor as well as the bank exams. In all type of the competitive exams such number systems questions will be asked frequently. So let us see how to solve the number system problems. Number systems this is to represent the numbers uh, to express the or I can say to express the numbers. In the number systems uh, there are uh, different types of number system but the most used number systems are four. So these are the most used number systems. So let us see the one by each of these number system are dependent on the two factors. One is the base, another one is the place value. All the number systems are based on the base value as well as the place value. So now what is base means what are all the numbers are, what are all the symbols you are going to use in a number systems that will become the base. Then place value means where exactly the digits are placed. Maybe in hundredth place or maybe in thousandth place that is known as the place value system. Now let us take the decimal number system as the example. In the decimal number system, the base we do call it as the 10. The decimal number system, we are calling the base as the 10. Why we are calling the base as 10 means, in the decimal number system, we will be using the numbers from 0 to 9. We are using the numbers from 0 to 9. When you take the count, it will come to the 10. That's why we are calling as the decimal number system. All the numbers, the particular number system will contain only the numbers from 0 to 9. Then regarding the place value, you know the place value that is the units place, tens place, hundreds place, thousand place. For example, let me take a number that is the 5,000, maybe 5, 4, 3, 8. If you take such number, if it is in the decimal number system, how I can represent the place value? What is the base? This is called as the base. It is saying you will be using the numbers from 0 to 9 only you are using. Total count of number is 10. Out of that, each digit has a place value. You very well know this is the units place value, this is the tens place value, this is the hundred place value and this one is the thousand place value. If I want to write the number, I can write it in a different way. For example, 8 I will be writing like that, 3, then I will be writing 4 and 5. How we represent the place value? How it represents it's a unit place means I should get the 1. This is the particular card as the unit place. How I get this one? Then for this I need to get the tens place. For this I need to get the tens place. Then for this I need to get the hundreds place. Hundred how I can get hundred means I will be putting the ten multiplied by ten. If you multiply the ten, you will get the hundred. That's why I am writing it as the ten hundred. The similarly, if I want to get the thousand, I will be putting the ten. Q. 3 times I am multiplying the 10, so we get the 1000, it is easy with 5000. So in the similar way, if I want the 10, the power I will put it as the 1. So I will get the value as the 10. The similarly, if I want to get the 1 value, I will put the 10 to the power 
0. Obviously, we know that any number to the power 0 is value 1. So, in the similar way, I can solve it as 5 into 1000 plus 4 into 100 plus 3 into 10 as well as 8 into 1. The value is 1. Now, obviously, I can get that these numbers as the 543, 5430 and 8. So, this is called as the decimal number system. Now, let us go to the binary number system. Now, seeing the binary number system, as I told you, we are calling this number system as decimal because we are maintaining the 10 digits, that is from 0 to 9. In this particular system, we are saying binary means only two digits, one is the 0, another one is the 1. The only two numbers will be used in this particular number system, that's why we call it as a binary number system. So, in the binary number system, how I can represent the word, how I can write the base means, obviously I will be writing, for example, take a number 1, its base is 2. It indicates this is a particular number which is written in the binary number system. So, if I want to write the place value, as I have done for the decimal, the same logic I will be putting for the binary. For example, 1 into 2 to the power 0. I am putting the 2 to the power 0. Then obviously I will get the value as the 1. The same the decimal number system I have maintained, the similar way I am doing the things. So in this, uh, this is known as the binary number. Now what are the probable questions that has been asked me? I have to convert the binary to decimal and vice versa. That is decimal to binary. The conversion is very simple. If they have given the binary number, for example, let us take a simple number. One, zero, one. It is in the binary. And if you want to convert into decimal, what you have to do means, you have to multiply each with the two, each with the base two. For example, the one, you will be writing here, here, one into two, okay. Then plus this 0 into 2. Then once again plus this 1 into 2. Now what about the powers for these two means? Obviously 0, 1 as well as the 2. As I use it in the decimal number system. Now what could be the outcome means? 1 into 2 to the power square means 4. <coughs> plus this is the 0. If it is 0, I need not to put the value. I will put in the 0 multiplied by any number is 0. Then I will be writing the 1 into 2 to the power 0 is. <coughs> is it clear? Now what is the total of this means? 4 plus 0 plus 1. The answer is 5. 5 in which system means? It is in the decimal number system. So this is called as the conversion of binary to decimal. Whenever you see the question that is given in the binary format and they have asked you to convert to decimal system, just multiply with the 2 for each of the digit. Each of the digit it will be multiplying with the 2 but the power changes. In that way you can solve the things, you will get the answer. This is called as binary to decimal. What is the next one is the reverse one. That is the decimal to binary. We are seeing the conversion decimal to binary. Now how I can convert the decimal to binary means just let us let us take a number, maybe well, let us take the same number 5. Okay, then I'll have read the answer. They have given a number in the decimal system 5. And now I need to convert it to binary. How I can convert means simply I can divide the number by 2. Simply I am dividing the number by 2 because I am very well know if a number is divided by 2 the remainder will be either 0 or 1. If there is a remainder I will get the 1 or else I will get the 0. Now this is the first thing. So now I will be writing the 5. I will divide by 2. 2 2 is 4. If 2 2 is 4 then 5 minus 4 is 1. The remainder is 1. In the similar way, if I divide once again by 2, 2 ones are 2, but the remainder is 0. The remainder is 0. Now I have to write the, now this is the binary number I got. I will write it in the simple way, 101. It is in the binary number system. 
This is a simple way to solve the things. It is very easy after this conversion, but it when comes for the floating point number. When it comes to the floating point number, the logic number itself changes. Let us see how it changes. Suppose that you have a number, you write a number and check it out. They have given me a number 0.11. It is in the decimal because it is a floating point. Why I am saying it is floating means the dot will be can float up wherever the number. So, if I want to convert this particular binary number system to decimal, that is a floating point number, what I have to do means, the right side part is different, we are talking about the left part, the right side already we have seen, that is how I can do means 0 into 2, okay. Then I will take the 1, into once again I will be putting the 2, then plus once again I will be putting the 2. In the similar way, when it goes from this side, I will put it as a 0, as we done in the previous example. Now, in this direction, I will be putting the minus 1, then I will be putting the minus 2. So, now what is the value of means? Because it is multiplied with the 0, the 0 will be the answer. Now, it is means 1 into 2 to the power minus 1. Means, obviously, it so shares, it is the 1 by 2. 2 to the power minus 1, I bring it to the denominator. Because then only it will become the positive one. It's already known thing. 1 by 2, then plus, then 1 into 2 to the power minus 2. So 2 to the power, if I bring it to the denominator, it will become the 2 to the power 2. Now this is the thing I have to solve. Now 0 0.1 by 2. Already we know half. Half value means nothing but the 0 0.5. Then similarly, 1 by 2 to square means 1 by 4. So 1 by 4 means I when I divide the 1 by 4, obviously I know I will put the 8, then I will get the 2, then I will be putting the 0, so I will get the 20. Okay. So now what are the answer I got is 0.25 that I will be writing it in the here. Now after adding all these things, what the value I will get means 0 0.50 means 0.75. Five. Now this is the answer I got from the decimal number system. This is the way of converting the fraction. In a similar way, I can do here also. Suppose that they have given the, the, the fractional numbers. When they given the fractional numbers, I have to multiply in the different way. Here we have divided by 2. When it is a whole number, then we will divide the number by 2 to convert it to the binary number system. If it is the floating point number, if it is the floating point number, we have to multiply with the 2. Just remember, whenever you need to convert a decimal to binary, if it is the whole number, whole number means this side, then you have to divide by 2 to get the remainder as a 0 and 1. So when it is given the after the floating point, okay, then you have to multiply by the 2. For let us see 0 0.5 into 2. So I saying 0.5 into 2. The answer I will get is 1.0. I will get this as a 1.0. Now what is the big thing is is here is 1. The same thing I will be writing as the answer is 0 0.1. It's a simple thing we are can write the easily. So this is a conversion of the binary to decimal. Then another simple thing then is the you will see the third one that is the octal number system. Octal means already we know 8. After this, already we know it's 8. What are the 8 numbers means? 0 to 7. Totally we are seeing the 8 things. So this particular this number system which uses the digits from 0 to 7 is called as the octal number system. Now let us see a simple example how to convert. Again also we have to see the conversion problem itself only. So suppose that I want to convert octal into decimal. I need to convert the octal into decimal. For example, my number is the 42. 
again the number is the 42 now how can i convert to the octal to decimal the similar way the way, the way created, converted the binary to decimal so the similar way i will be writing the 4 into plus 2 into now what i have to write here means what's the base of the number in binary number system we have written as the base 2 but here our base is the 8 8 is the base i will be writing the 8 and 8 then obviously the position is 0 and 1 or the place value 0 and 1 then obviously i will get the 4 into 8 plus 2 into 1 value is plus 2 so i will get the 34 as the answer in the decimal system so in this way I can convert the octal into the decimal. The similar way from decimal to octal, whatever the logic I have used in the um, decimal to binary, the same logic. Suppose that this is the 34 is the number which is given in the decimal. Now I need to convert it into octal. As we have done for the binary convert, I divided by the 2 no? The same way I will divide this number by 8 dividing the number by 8 so obviously I will get the 32 so remaining is the 2 so the remaining is the third 2 I will cut so the total I cannot further divide this the answer is the 4 2 in the after number system now you are clear with how to convert the binary to decimal decimal to binary in the same way we have converted the after to decimal and decimal to after the similar way we can also convert between the let us see another example of the fourth one we can see the hexadecimal number system hexadecimal means the base is 16 the base is 16 it says that we are using the numbers 16 16 numbers we are using then how it is possible we already know only the numbers from 0 to 9 then what could be the next number that's the important thing now what could be the next number means they in the hexadecimal number system they use letters to represent the next number for example 0 to 9 is okay what about the value of the 10 because i am using the 16 numbers no so what is the value of 10 means nothing but the a they are using a character to represent that then obviously 11 means b then obviously 12 means c obviously 13 means d 14 means I will be using the E. The last one 15 means I will be using the F. Now these becomes the number sets of the hexadecimal. 0 to 9 and as well as the A, B, C, D, E and F. What these character represents is nothing but the subsequent numbers of the after 9. What it comes 10, 11. The same thing they will be representing. So the hexadecimal number system contains the number from 0 to 9 as well as from A to F. So these are the 16 numbers they are considering. So obviously if you want to convert the what are the logic I have used in the binary to a decimal the same logic you have to use. What are the other type of conversion problems they will be asking is suppose that they have given a number from after to hexadecimal. Because convert to decimal, decimal back to hexadecimal is already known thing. But the logic we have used in the binary and the logic we used in the after, the same thing we have to continue there. But what the different thing is, if the acts to convert from octal to hexadecimal. They are asking octal to hexadecimal. Now how I can convert? Let us see. Suppose that there, are, there is a number called as the 421. It is in the octal. Now I can convert into uh, hexadecimal. Now how I can convert means you need not to divide anything from here. Just you have to represent the different thing in the binary form. We are writing the number in the binary form. For one, how I can, in the binary form what the logic we can use means in the octal we use a number and as the place value nothing but the 4, 2, 1. So what is this means? If I put the 1 here, the value is, okay, the value is here 4 and suppose if I put the 1 here, the value is 2 and if I put the 1 here, the value is 1. In case, if I put the 1 more 1 here, then obviously the addition is 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. Now this is the after system. 
In the similar way, hexadecimals it after it's considering only the three bits. Why it is considering only three bits means if you put the three bits here, obviously you will get the eight. In the similar way, if it after is in this way, then I can represent the hexadecimal in another way. Nothing but you are adding one more bit because the base is itself is 16. So obviously when 2 to the power 3 is 8, 2 to the power 4 is obviously the 16. So then I need the 4 bits to represent the hexadecimal number, a single number. So whereas 3 is enough, 3 bits is enough for me to represent the octal number. So in the hexadecimal number I will be using the 4. What are the 4 numbers means 4 place values is the 8, 4, 2, 1. 8, 4, 2, 1. These are the place values I am using to represent the hexadecimal number system. So if I put 1 here, the total answer I will get is the 8. The similar way we have done for the octal. Suppose if I put one more 1 here, then obviously I will add the two things. 8 plus 1 is 9. The similar way, of like whatever the number, whatever, wherever I put the 1, those numbers will get added. 4 plus 2 is now this is the, the half system and the, this is the hexadecimal number system. Now whenever I need to convert the octal to decimal, you just represent the number in the binary form. The binary form how I can represent means already we know in the octal number that is a 4, 2, 1. So it is will take another number, different number. You may not get confused, you know. So I will take the um, octal is a 5, 6, 1. So 5 how I can represent in the binary system means just I want the 4 and 1 as put in the 1. 4 plus 1. So it will represent the 5. 4 plus 1 is 5. So this I will write it as the 1, 0, 1. Then I am having the 6. So I want to put the 6 means I want to put the 1 for the 4 as well as for the 2. Okay. I will not put that. Then obviously I will get the value as the 6, 4 plus 2 is 6. The same thing I will be writing 1, 1, 0. Then I, for the 0, for the 1, I need not to put the values for the 4 and 2 position. I will write it in the 0, 0, 1. I want to convert after to hexadecimal. First I convert it into binary. Then I will convert this into hexadecimal. How I convert hexadecimal means in the left from right to left direction, you group the bits into 4. You group the bits into 4, so obviously I can write it as 0, 0 and 0, this particular. Then these bits, then last one is 1. So this empty, I can write it as the 3 more zeros, it will become the 3. So in the hexadecimal, I know the place value is 8, 4, 2, 1. Obviously, this is the 1, and here also 4, 2, 1. So there is nothing 7. Here also 8, 4, 2, 1. I will get the 1. Now 170, 1 is the value I get. I can get it for the hexadecimal. 1, 7 and 1. So in this way you can write the convert the after decimal, hexadecimal. So we will discuss the next class in the cryptographic function which is necessary to hide the information. Because online data is very important to secure. So for that we need to put the cryptographic function. We can discuss in the next class. Thank you.